If you're using cable ties, or commonly called zip ties, don't cut them off. If you cut them off, you end up with a very sharp edge. Best thing to do is to twist them off. If you twist them off, then if you go in here later, you're not going to cut yourself up by the sharp edges. So twisting the zip ties is much better than cutting them off. Now for the bottom headliner. All right, let's see if I can remember how this goes. I think it does help to pull down on this uh, door molding and that lets you tuck this up a little bit easier. Really this is not that difficult. Kind of a pain but you know for the results that you're gonna end up with. Definitely worth it. There you go, it kinda of holds itself up and we can get the rest of our screws in. Now, I gotta remember, I gotta put that metal bracket in, which was the last thing I took out. All right, I'm gonna put this little bracket back up. Then our plastic shelf. Okay, these two I gotta keep out of the way. Because I want those to be on the plastic shelf, not below it. So, hoping they'll cooperate. They'll just stay out of the way. Maybe they're not gonna cooperate. And there's a little there's a little lip right here. That little lip goes over this lip on this metal bracket. Makes it really easy to put this up if you're not using extra wires. But since I got some extra wires here, I probably should just throw a zip tie in there and keep them out of the way. But I'm stubborn. That's how it's going to go. These wires come down. And we start screwing everything back together again. Let me do the center one first. Because by doing the center one first, that's going to hold this in from falling and it'll just make things easier and I can take my time going around to the rest of it. And I'm gonna get everything loosely started first, and then I'll go around and tighten everything up. I 
think this is the one that was stripped. So it's going in good, probably because it's not the same bolt that was in there. It might have been one of the headrests here. All right, I think I can tighten these up now. Okay, today we took down the headliner, the shelf, and the upper headliner. We insulated up there and we ran three electrical wires. Those three electrical wires are going to provide 12 volts so that I can power cameras around the van and a dash cam. They're going to provide USB charging on this shelf. The way I'm going to do the USB charging is I'm going to put a cigarette lighter socket attached to that 12 volts and then in that cigarette lighter socket I'm going to buy one of the adapters that's commonly used in cars. The reason I'm doing it that way is the technology changes and all my phones and accessories support fast charging or the Qualcomm 3.0 quick charge but six months or a year from now they may have Qualcomm 4.0 and it'll be easy for me to upgrade by just buying another plug-in. So that's why I'm using cigarette lighter plugs that will be mounted up here. I also ran another wire for this shelf up here to do the same thing. Probably use it for charging. Um, don't really expect to use this shelf uh, as a charging shelf, but I want the wire there just in case I'm going to do that so I don't have to you know, tear this all apart again. A couple hints on doing this. Number one, I highly recommend taking one of the side pillars out. It's only two bolts under the handle here. Take that side pillar, loosen it up, and that makes getting this headliner out much, much easier. If I didn't do that, it was in so tight, I might have ended up with a crease someplace, and on this headliner, I would have seen that, and it would have been upsetting. So take that pillar out, highly recommend that. On the upper headliner up here and this shelf, on the shelf, on each side of the shelf, there are two foam blocks. They're not held in by anything. They're just squeezed in there. Um, they seem like they're held in by something because they're form-fitted, but you just got to wiggle them out. And once you get those out, taking the headliner and shelf out is pretty easy. Remember, on the plastic shelf up here, on the inside, there's three little plastic nuts you have to remove and then things are extraordinarily easy. Um, that's pretty much it, but I did run into one problem, a mistake that I made. I didn't keep track of all the bolts. All the bolts are either a four millimeter hex or a five millimeter hex. Most of them are five millimeters. Some of them are longer than others. This handle that goes right here uses short bolts. All the others use long bolts. Well, you're probably guessing already. I used a couple of these short bolts someplace else and they work fine. But now I don't have the short bolts for here. Someplace there are the short bolts. Now, why can't I use the long bolts? Because the long bolts aren't threaded in their entirety. So where they're not threaded, it just stops. So I have to do one of two things. I have to either go buy two new bolts or I have to sit here and go through all of these and find the two short ones. And you guessed it, I'm gonna try to go to the store and see if I can buy two replacements. And if I can do that easily, I'll do that. If not, if uh, I have to go crazy looking online to, to order some from the manufacturer or Mopar and 
you know, if it costs me five dollars per bolt, then I will sit here and go through these. There's probably about 20 of these that you have to take out and I'll find those short bolts. Anyway, so I tell you these mistakes so that you don't make them and uh, that's a little frustrating. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and hopefully you'll see me on the next one. Thanks for watching.